I tell you what, only someone as stupid as me would buy a rear wheel drive car just in time for winter, regardless. Hey guys, it's Luke here and welcome back to another video with the M140i, my new toy. Um, now, since I revealed the car not too long ago, um, I've been inundated, as you can expect, with questions of why did I choose an M140i, especially considering uh, the likes of the M2, maybe an RS3, or maybe an A45 or A45S, or maybe even A35 for that matter. Um, so I thought, you know what, why not? Let's just jump on a video and discuss all the reasons as to why I bought an M140i, because there are actually quite a few uh, reasons. Anyway, I'm glad that I bought a car with heated seats, because I'm gonna go jump over to one of those right now. We can hop in the car, go for a cruise and I can explain all. So actually I'm gonna bear the cold for a little bit longer and just give you guys a very brief run round of the car for those of you who haven't seen it before. So this is my new car, the Golf R replacement. It's a 2019 M140i Shadow Edition. It's finished in Estoril Blue. We've got the 18 inch uh, gunmetal gray wheels on it as well and an abundance of silvery gray tacky bits. But at least we've got the black kidney grills up front. Anyway, for those of you who are wondering why I have my custom plates on it, I haven't put my private plate on there yet. Um, and I just feel that they probably look a little bit smarter. But anyway, uh, yeah, Estoril Blue car, like I mentioned, it's a five door. For those of you wondering why I didn't go for a three door, I don't know really. I, I don't really like the fact that some cars like the three door variant of this have massive doors. Um, and also it's just a bit more usable to have a five door. Um, anyway, as for the inside, I think we're gonna hop in there actually, cause it's freezing today. Full black leather interior, excuse my laptop. I'm uploading a video at the moment, um, conveniently, of another M140i, which is quite cool. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so it's the facelift car, it's an LCI model, so we have, actually, we'll just start it up quickly. We have the um, kind of analog and digital dials. It's, turn the radio off quickly. Um, so yeah, I quite like that, actually, it's quite cool. And then we can have all our details, fuel gauge. Although, what I don't like is you don't have an oil um, temperature gauge until you flick through all the menus like that. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's still, quite cool we've got the silvery stuff up here now ideally you can get this uh, and all this down here in like a gloss black which in an ideal world i would have gone for but that is a nice little extra got a little blue uh, detailing down there and actually if i grab the key quickly you got it on there shout out to my buddy james as well for giving me this nice little m performance key ring um, which is all very cool. But other than that, yes, it is a DCT. I didn't go for the manual. Um, I'm a lover for the good old flappy paddles. Um, but yeah, now we're inside the car and it's annoyingly just started drizzling. You might be able to see that on the windscreen. No, nope, probably not. Um, we'll go out for a drive, um, see what this thing is like in the wet actually, <laughs> um, and talk everything about why I bought this specific car. Winter's fine, I'm not bothered about that, it's the rain that I'm worried about now. <laughs> but anyway, we're out in the car now, we're in comfort mode. I'm still gonna use the car for obvious reasons. I dare touch any of this, uh, because obviously the roads are wet and I'm not used to it at all. Um, in, in time with filming this video, actually, this is the second time I've driven it. Um, so, <laughs> it's all still very new for me. But anyway, um, yeah, there's a number of reasons as to why I bought um, an M140i. Um, I think a good place to start, actually, um, is probably the turning point for me when I kind of thought to myself, yeah, you know what, I'm gonna buy one of those. You guys may remember the drag race I did um, fairly recently, a couple months ago in partnership with BOTB. Um, that for me um, was the turning point when I thought to myself, you know what, that is my next car. Um, because for those of you who've watched that video, um, you'll know that this thing came out on top. It absolutely thrashed everything. Um, uh, <laughs> and to be fair, <laughs> that is the biggest sales pitch. <laughs> it's the fastest hot hatch um, from a standing start over a, a half a mile, at least on my test anyway. But yeah, for me, that that was kind of the turning point where I thought to myself, you know what, that is that is one hell of a car. Now that actually leads me on to the second point, quite handily actually, um, the price. Um, now these things secondhand, so I bought this car secondhand, um, 
uh, surprisingly cheap, um, which again is a very good point. Um, now, actually, the price of my Golf R when I bought it at the time, second hand, similar mileage on the clock, I paid five thousand pounds more than what I paid for this. This is a year newer. It's done uh, fewer miles than what that car done, um, and arguably, it's a step up from the Golf R in the sense that it's a three liter instead of a two liter. Um, it's got about 40 horsepower more. Um, and I think it's just better equipped, arguably. Some some cases the Golf R is stronger, some cases this is stronger. Um, but in terms of the price of this, for what it is and the, the age of the car and everything, it is a lot of car for the money. I was genuinely pleasantly surprised. Um, and going on from that as well, insurance was a hell of a lot cheaper for this car compared oh god there's a tractor. Uh, I'm gonna need that insurance. <laughs> and there's a big puddle. You know he's in a tractor. He can do is he gonna stop? Oh thank you so much. Um so yeah insurance for this was actually a hell of a lot cheaper. Actually a grand cheaper. Thank you Mr Tractor Man. Um which I was again hugely surprised about. Three litre so it's a bigger engine uh, rear wheel drive as well, which arguably makes it a lot more lethal with the Golf R, you could just get in it and drive. I mean, here I could absolutely gun it down here, but now with this, I don't know what's gonna happen. I could be heading towards that tree or heading towards that ditch over there. I, I don't know, um, which arguably is uh, a lot fun, a lot more fun to drive. Um, but yeah, in terms of price, this thing is a lot of car for the money, which I think is why they are so popular. Um, so that was a big selling point for me as well. Um, I felt like getting out of the Golf R and as you know, um, kind of um, started to experience some more cars. Um, I thought, well, why not start with an M140i? Now, another reason which um, I wasn't really that sure whether I was gonna mention or not, but I thought, you know what? I'm gonna be transparent with you guys. I'm not gonna put on a face for YouTube. Um, there's a big following for these cars and YouTube, this is one of my jobs that I have. What the hell is going on here? Um, and there's a big following for these cars. And I thought that, no, <laughs> I know I'm in an off-roader, so I'm not gonna go off-road. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yes, um, there's a big following for these cars. Um, and so for a business point of view, it's going to benefit me. Um, now don't get me wrong, I haven't bought this car just for the sake of buying it for YouTube. I genuinely have a big soft spot for these cars, and I knew that one day I was going to own one. Um, whether it was going to be now or in a few years time, I, I didn't know, but I just knew that I wanted to. Um, I, what is wrong with this road? Why is it so dirty? <laughs> um, sorry, I keep on getting sidetracked. Um, yeah, so that was another turning point for me. I mean, hot hatches as a whole have a big audience, so in, in that respect, I couldn't really go wrong as such. Um, but yeah, that was another decision. Um, kind of did lead me to buy one of these cars, but not the main one, okay? Not the main one. Um, it's just an added bonus, the way I see it. Now, as I get more and more lost, I'm not gonna lie to you, I am very lost. I'm actually turning around at the moment because I have no idea where I am. Um, but regardless, yeah, another reason as to why um, I decided to pull the trigger on an M140i um, is the characteristics of them. I find when you say um, that you've got a three-cylinder engine, you've got rear-wheel drive, um, and a hell of a lot of power and torque. That, for me, is a very attractive, well, it sounds like a very attractive car. Um, and seeing as the B58, the code name for this engine, and that we got up there, sitting proud, um, is no longer, um, arguably these cars may be quite desirable, or well, the engine certainly is very desirable. Um, so technically, I've followed uh, the YouTuber transition of getting a Toyota Supra, because this has the same engine. Um, but um, yeah, mainly for me, rear wheel drive, okay? So let me cut to the chase. My first car, an Audi A1, um, was front wheel drive. Had that car for nearly two years. My first car, loved it. Um, I then replaced that with the Golf R. All wheel drive, had that for a year, almost to the day. Um, and now I have this car, rear wheel drive. So I kind of thought to myself, look, I've had front wheel drive, I've had all wheel drive. I need a bit of rear wheel drive. I need a bit of rear wheel drive action. I'm at the stage now where I'm filming lots of cars which are rear wheel drive and just having a bit of fun in them and just comparing them to, at the time, what was my car, a four wheel drive. It wasn't as fun, you know? I mean, yes, don't get me wrong, the Golf R was a hell of a lot of fun um, in its own right. But this car, rear wheel drive car, 
um, is a lot more fun in a different aspect. So this car, like, you have to drive from what I've gathered so far in the like 30 miles I've done in it so far. You can't just sit back and just floor it anywhere. You have to be very careful where you floor it and when you don't. You have to be very careful with your right foot. And that's what I think I was missing with car ownership. I just wanted a bit of that, like you have to drive the car. Like you have to have just that little bit of skill um, in order to not put it into a tree. Um, going back down this bumpy road, and really, really dirty. My car is gonna be filthy after this. Um, so yeah, I just wanted a bit of that, you know. I wanted to experience something new for me um, and kind of push the boat out a bit. Um, so yeah, that is kind of the reasons from what I can think of at the moment, at least the main reasons as to why I pulled the trigger on an M140i. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, this video has been kind of straightforward, just kind of sit down here with my heated seat on, forgot to mention, heated seats are very good on this, um, as Chloe mentioned on the reveal video, um, we love a bit of that. Um, but yeah, that is uh, yeah that, that is the video really. Um, if you guys like this kind of style, just sit in the car and go for a drive, get lost and um, get stuck behind cyclists, then by all means, let me know in the comments, I can do more of it. Um, Um, but yeah, I think that's going to round up today's video. I think that's everything that I mentioned. If not, then I'll probably leave a pinned comment down below or something. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video um, and you are enjoying my decision of buying an M140i. Um, and I am going to struggle to get past this chap. Um, so I'm going to round the video up here. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please do make sure you leave a like and make sure you subscribe for all the adventures 